Hi everyone, this is a new video with me and Megan. Hi. It's 10.55 and we have, well, 10.57 we have to be quiet because my parents are in bed. And we're going to the lake tomorrow at, um, like 7. She's going to look. I want her to come with me. My parents said no. They don't like me. I this swear I'm not a bad influence. No matter what I do, this piece of hair always falls separate from the rest. I'm sorry. <laughs> so anyway, today, what happened today? Nothing. Oh, we have this really interesting story, okay. Me and her were walking around her block, and oh. this dude was behind us with two dogs. We could hear the dogs' collars or whatever jingling, and this wind started blowing really, really hard when he like was walking with us. And then we turned the corner, and we heard the jingling just stop. So we turned around, and he was gone. Nowhere to be seen. He was just gone. Vanished. And the wind started blowing again. It's like he vanished with the wind or something. It was really creepy. But of course, with Megan, a lot of creepy stuff happens. What's that supposed to mean? You have ghosts in your house. We went to the graveyard and you saw this random apparition up here. And now we walk around your block and this dude and his two dogs vanish. <laughs> That's really weird. But the supernatural is cool though. Maybe for some people. Okay. To me it's scary. It's not scary, it's awesome. Maybe I'm just weird, I don't know. I like the supernatural. It fascinates me. So yeah. Mm-hmm. We're not very entertaining right now. I don't want to go to like tomorrow. Well, at least you don't have a bunch of freaks wanting to go with you. Let's play a game called Name Megan's Freaks. <coughs> Contestant number one is this weird kid who's 14 who goes to her church. Yeah, really. 14? I'm 18. Don't think so. And this freak thinks that, he, that he's actually dating her. He calls her, oh baby, I love you so much. I want to call you. This freak has actually told his parents that we're dating. I don't think so. Freak number two is Danny Coleman. Uh, yeah. She agreed to be his boyfriend, his girlfriend. <laughs> They've been going up for a month and haven't done anything because he's a loser, but anyway. And I don't want to be with him. <laughs> at all. He calls her like three times a day, but they never actually go anywhere mm. because he's just whatever. And number three, Eric Harris. She actually likes this one. In our last video, I called him Strawberry Shortcake because he's short, but he's tall and cheap. He wants her to play poker with him right now, but we're not doing that. Because we all know what kind of poker he likes. And I don't think anybody who's watching this wants to know what kind of poker he likes. I'm sure they're not dumb. Anyway, freak number four is Anthony. Tony? Yeah. And his friend Preston. They're black guys. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, but I mean. Yeah, no offense to black guys. Black guys are awesome. But those black guys are just kind of weird. I mean, come on, Preston. I mean, my dad has a friend who's an Indian named Preston. 
And then there used to be Eduardo. Eduardo was Mexican. No, really? <laughs> but he likes to be called Edward because he doesn't like being Mexican. He's a racist against himself. Yes. Tell them the story about what he said about Mexicans. Okay, see, my friend Eduardo, he's Mexican, of course, and <laughs> I was talking to him one day, and he was just sitting there talking and everything, <laughs> and um, I don't know, he's just like, he he's married to this black girl now. And they have two kids. Yeah, they have two kids. And I was like, well, you still don't like white girls. Now you dating black girls. And I was like, why don't you just date a Mexican? And he goes, because I am Mexican. I don't want to date a Mexican. <laughs> he was like, plus, I'm not even Mexican. I'm just really light skinned. I'm black. <laughs> I'm like, that's kind of sad. You don't want to be Mexican. But I don't okay, want to be white. I'm Asian. I'm a Japanese person at heart. I'm actually Italian, but I don't want to be Japanese because Japanese people are awesome. Well, I'm very dark skinned, kind of. I don't know what she is. Hawaiian, German, Indian. I'm kind of like Italian. I'm Italian, but I've got like some Polish and Germanish in me because we moved out of Germany before World War II broke out. Well, I've got Hawaiian, German, and Indian, just on my dad's side. Hey, look, it's my crate, it's my stalker. Yes. Mm -hmm. Joshua Morgan. He's okay, I guess. He's a crybaby. He's pathetic. You know he's gonna watch this, don't you? Hi, Josh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Just going by what Lance and them were saying, you know, the night we went to see Eclipse. They're just a big, sensitive teddy bear, I guess. He's cool, though. Yeah, he's alright. <laughs> I love you. I'm kidding, I don't. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> She's very confused about how she feels about him. Yeah. We did seven minutes of nothing. <laughs> hmm. But really, the poster behind me? <laughs> oh, the sock panda. I'm a sock panda made out of socks. And I'm smiling and I'm never sad. I'm a sock panda. I get to finish my song. Kill a panda! <laughs> I'll beat you the panda. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> my back stings. I didn't hit you that hard. My back stings. My kneecap puts a picture right now. I feel like my shirt is so pretty for Skulls are awesome. No clue what she's doing. No clue. She just left. She'll be back. Maybe. She's now writing on herself, so yes, yeah, she'll be here in a second. Her niece says hi. <laughs> Oh. 
Melanie says hi. <laughs> okay, this video has been 10 minutes long. So, I think we're gonna end it now. Bye.